what is going on youtube fan welcome back again to another video so today uh i will be giving you guys an update on what's been going on um i know it's been a while since my previous video my last video has been almost uh three weeks if i'm not mistaken uh just you know a lot's been going on uh work wise uh personal wise and uh you know just stuff outside of youtube um so i do have a full-time job which you know i'm at right now uh luckily no one's here you know it's early i get here early uh but for the most part you know i do have another uh i guess you could say uh part-time job side job that i do so i'm a very busy person and it's hard to uh create content and make content for you guys on a daily basis um especially you know with my newborn as well so it's it's kind of hard but i'm trying to balance everything and uh make time to create content for you guys uh but for the most part uh today's video will consist of uh some products that i bought on amazon that actually came in sunday and uh these products consist of you know just tank maintenance odor uh getting rid of odor uh bad odor from the tanks and um i know with you know my tanks um i don't know if everybody has the same problem uh but with my tanks as time goes by um you know a lot of gunk and uh and bad odor you know start to build up and pile up in the tanks so um for me i i have to do maintenance pretty much you know every week uh just for you know the health purposes of my family and not just them but you know for my turtles i don't want them getting sick i don't want them you know dying from uh you know bad water condition and uh the way the tank is so uh these products uh we'll be going over uh later on and uh we'll be trying some out to see how they work and uh we'll get into that so stay tuned Alrighty guys, so welcome back. We are here back at home. And as you can see, both tanks, especially this one, are very dirty. So this tank is definitely gonna get clean and maintenance today, right now actually. And this one as well, where my snapping turtle is, as you can see, starting to get real nasty and murky. And especially this one. This one right here, this tank right here where i have my three turtles is the one that smells the most and it has you know foul odor and uh so let's get into today's video what today's video is about and here it is so this these are the products i got from amazon it's a terrarium cleaner uh as you can see eliminates odors and this is the reason why i got it as you can see right here removes buildups fast acting reptile safe so we'll definitely be using this as well as this right here well, there's a plastic around it we'll get into that real soon just a sec and this one sludge destroyer so i'm very curious on how this will work uh but for the most part you know i won't start adding these products until you know i see that the tanks are getting dirty again like i said they will have to be cleaned eventually so i'm not going to be adding this solutions to the tanks just yet until you know i clean them and once i start seeing you know buildups like this and well i won't let it get that worse uh but just like this i will add some of these solutions to see how it works and that's the only way to know if you know this products are going to work or not i can't add it while you know i just clean the tanks and add new water so we won't know if it works or not until it starts getting dirty again i'm trying to take this plastic off this one real quick Alrighty, so got it out, the plastic. And this one is Tidy Turtle. Keeps tanks 
and gravel clean reduces odor as well so the main reason i got these two right here is for odors to eliminate and reduce them as i mentioned this tank right here where i have my three turtles my uh yellow belly my map turtle and my soft shell turtle is the one that gets dirty and it's the one that smells the most this one not so much uh but because you know my snapping turtle is the only one in this tank so which is why the reason i'm pretty sure it doesn't you know smell as bad i mean don't get me wrong it does have you know a foul odor to it but not as much as this tank right here so yeah guys so this is what i wanted to show you uh for those who have uh you know tur a turtle set up a tank whatever you have and uh you want to know how to get rid of uh odors I suggest you buy these. Like I said, I haven't tried them out yet. I'm just uh, saying, you know, it's a start. Uh, it was a start for me because, you know, it's hard to uh, maintain these tanks and uh, keep these turtles enclosures clean and make it last because, you know, they're animals and they're going to do what they have to do. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I won't be adding these solutions just yet until you know, I clean the tanks out and over time, you know, it starts getting a little like this. Not like this, but like this. And uh, we'll know if it works or not and to see if it eliminates the odors, uh, current and old odors that stay, you know, stuck to this glass or surfaces. So yeah, guys, so this is what consists of today's video now as far as food i will have to get more food i'm almost out of the floating sticks now this my snapping turtle really didn't like this it's uh you know 100 percent dried whole shrimp uh this does smell you know pretty bad i was giving it to my other three turtles in this tank for them to eat and just feed my snapping turtle the floating sticks but he didn't really like that, so I started giving them the the shrimp, the dried shrimp, and uh, it just made a mess, you know. Um, the the floating shrimp, you know, would just go into the filter there and just clog it all up, and uh, which is why it would get like this real, real quick after cleaning the tank out. But because these are just bits, show you real quick. As you can see right there. So there are little strips and they're small, so they will get into that filter and clog it up and, you know, make the tank get dirtier quicker because the water is not circulating uh, clean and it's just getting the filter dirty. Uh, but yeah, this is so far what I will stick with from here on out. Um, I do eventually want to buy, uh, you know, like small fish, uh, shrimp, uh, crawfish, and do a live feeding for my snapping turtle. That is something I do want to do in the near future. Uh, I just have to research and find out uh, where stores like that that sell those type of uh, animals or creatures. That way I could purchase some and do a live feeding for you guys. Uh, I mean... We live here in Houston, so it's kind of hard to find uh, stores here in the city that sell those type of uh, of uh, animals. Um, so I'm thinking I might have to um, drive out a bit, you know, to stores that do sell this, like per, per se, you know, Galveston, since they do a lot of fishing out there and it's, you know, close to the close to the ocean and water. So I might just do a trip out there and do a video of uh, store shopping, you know, just do a live feeding. But uh, that is today's video, guys. I will wrap up today's video. Um, as I did mention, I am pretty busy, uh, but I, would, I will try to balance everything out and try to make time to make more content for you guys um whenever i do have downtime or free time 
as I did mention, I do have two jobs and a newborn, so it's kind of hard to uh, balance everything out. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get it done. But uh, that will wrap up today's video, guys. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment down in the section below. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.